He said, if Something any man out. love not the Lord, let him be an athema maranatha. That's New Testament. Let him be cut off at his coming. Right? That's the whole issue I have with it. The issue you have with what? You have an issue with the Bible? I have an issue with being be so righteous. Okay, of course you. Right. Hey, hold up. Clap it up for Esau. Hey. Clap it up for Esau. He, hey. he has an issue with being righteous. Issue with being righteous. Oh, praise. Day, every day. You have an issue with that. And I just can't even fathom it. Picture it. You I mean, can't. I you can't. know why? Even, because like, you realistic. are. Because biblically, you are a descendant of Esau, the wicked one, in the scripture. Bring that out with you guys here, 66 verses. This is Isaiah chapter 66 and verse 15. Bring it out. For behold, the Lord will come with fire. The Lord will come with fire. Right? You so-called white people have been living up in your society long enough. Right? You have reached your end. Because Jacob is the end of your world. Right? The end of your world is Jacob's beginning. And that's why you see the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American man rising up against your face, testifying against you, right? And being a witness against you for your evils, right? Go ahead. Uh -huh. And with chariots like a whirlwind. The chariots of the Lord, this invasion is the Most High God and His angels, His sanctified ones, to come judge you so-called white people from off the face of this planet. That's right! Whether you think we're crazy or not, this is what the Bible says. The very Bible that you think is going to save you is actually revealing your utter destruction. Bring it out! This is what the Holy Bible testifies concerning you Edomites, concerning you Moabites, concerning you Elamites, right? This is what the Bible is testifying against you, right? Go ahead. And to render his anger with fury. To render his anger with fury. See, the Lord is furious with the so-called white man, right? He's furious with the so-called white man for his evils, for his crimes, okay? Go ahead. And his rebuke with flames of fire. His rebuke with flames of fire. Give me second that's just 1337, right? It's going to be an inferno on this planet. He is going to rebuke with flames of fire. The chariot wheels and the lightnings or the laser beams of the Lord is going to light and strike this world with you know? fire, right? The chariot wheels of the Lord has ammunition and they are going to vaporize you. While you stand upon your feet, the Lord is going to vaporize you. That's as right. You are just ashes and dust. Right? Go ahead. The book of Psalms 67, verse 17. Bring it out. Yep. The chariots of Yahweh are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them, as in Sinai, in the holy place. So the Lord is among the angels as in Sinai. When they were in Sinai, there was an encampment of angels protecting the children of Israel. And there's another encampment of angels that we identify with. You got Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, Uriel, the four archangels, along with the other cherubims, right? That are going to enter into this sky, enter into this atmosphere and destroy planet Earth, right? And those are your so-called UFOs that we call IFOs, identifiable flying objects. That's uh, right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Thou has ascended on high. Thou has led captivity captive. See, thou has led captivity captive. The Lord is going to take us from our captivity and we are going to be taken up, right? And we are going to belong to him again and we're never going to fall into captivity ever again, right? Read Revelation 12 and 12. 
right? Go ahead. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 13 and verse 37. And this my son shall rebuke the wicked inventions of those nations. So the Lord is going to rebuke the wicked inventions of the nations. Right? What are wicked inventions? Right? All your TV programs, all the stations, right, in the network, all the stations are going to be obliterated by the Lord. Right? The television, right? All of the networks that you're lying through, that you're broadcasting lies through, BBC, CBS, NBC, bring it out, ESPN, Netflix, whatever. All of it is going to be destroyed. All the wicked inventions, the television, right, the cell phones, right, everything you see is going to be destroyed by the God of Israel, right? Everything you see. This Dunkin' Donuts baseball museum is going to be destroyed by nuclear thermal fire. Right? See, people, they walk around not realizing these things because they are evil. They are workers of iniquity. They are blinded by the evil inventions that the Most High has come to destroy that are no longer going to be cast up on this planet ever again in the world of Israel. But the so-called white man, he's going to be put into a garrison just like King David put him in. He's going to be put into a garrison and he is not going to ever rise up ever again. That's right. He's going to go back into that bottomless pit and he's going to be stuck there in slavery, man. And I can see it now. I can see me and my brothers joyful passing Edomites, passing Moabites on ships, right? And we're sending them off to wherever they need to go, being whipped in their back. That's right. I see it now, and it's going right. to be glorious in that day. You know why? Because justice, true justice, is glorious, man. True justice is glorious. Wow. Y'all don't work for a judicial system. We are the judicial system. That's right. I'm from the tribe of Judah, the true judicial system, the true lawgiver of the nation of That's Israel. Right. Where a scepter shall not depart from the feet of a Judite by the name of a Mashiach Yahweh We are the true judicial system, and you are going to be subpoenaed to our court. You are going to be subpoenaed to the courts of Israel. Bring it out. Right? That's where you're going to end up. And then we are going to torment you in our kingdom. And if you don't believe me, believe the word of God. Give me Isaiah chapter 33, verse 17. Revelations 12 and 12. Bring it out. Bring it out. Therefore rejoice. Therefore what? Therefore rejoice. Therefore rejoice. Go ahead. Ye heaven and ye that dwell in them. So rejoice. Ye heavens, in all the heavens, right? Everyone that dwells in the heavens. The angels dwell in the heavens with the Lord, right? The angels are going to rejoice in the day of Satan's fall. You know who's Satan? The so-called white man. He is the spiritual embodiment of Satan. He embodies the beast. He embodies the false prophet. He embodies it. Because he's being ruled by Satan. He is baptized under the lying spirit, Satan. Right? He is baptized under that same murderous spirit. He has the mark of Cain, the murderer. Right? That the whole world has received. That mark. That mark of Cain. Right? Who treads the blood of Abel. Who treads the blood of Jacob. Right? You preach murder you preach the mark of Cain right and as the true prophets of God and the true children of God we're coming out here to warn you of that we're coming out into the highways and into the byways right bidding our people to the marriage and letting you know that you're going to be judged and you're going to be condemned by God that's right right where, where I tell you to go Right, give me Psalms 109 verses um, yeah, 7. Isaiah 33 7. Okay, bring that out. Bring that out. This is Isaiah chapter 33 and verse 17. Bring it out. Thine eyes shall see the king in his beauty. Our eyes are gonna see the king in his beauty coming in that white horse. That glorious space invasion. 
It's like we're going to be in a dream, the scriptures say, right? Go ahead. They shall behold the land that is very far off. We're going to behold the land that is very far off. We can see it now. Right? Go ahead. Thine heart shall meditate terror. See, we're going to torment the so-called white man in our kingdom. Right? Our heart is going to meditate terror. Right? We're going to be the white man's nightmare. Right? We're going to be the white man's sniper, nightmare. You see how he can jump in his cruiser, drive off, go to the station, arrest niggas and arrest spicks. They can do that. But guess what? That's going to be us. We are going to take back our shield that they got as their judicial badge. Bring it we're going to put it on our breastplate and we're going to put them in garrisons, man. We're going to put them in our kingdom, right? Under the basement. That's the only place they're going to have in the kingdom. Under the basement. Because he's the most base creature on the planet. Thus saith the Lord. Right? When they're in our kingdom. On the outskirts of prosperity. Right? Hey, my brother. You got a moment to hear the word of the Lord? All right, brother. Just know you an Israelite. Okay? Bring that out. What you got? Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice, uh -huh. ye heavens. Rejoice, ye heavens. And ye that dwell in them. And ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. Woe, destruction. And of the sea. And of the sea, right? For the devil has come down to you, having great wrath. The, the devil, right? It's like the devil took a bus ride, and he hopped off, and now he's on his stop. And he said, you know what? It's my time. I'm here now. He hopped off his bus. He ascended. He came into our territory. He said, it's my time now. Uh -huh. I understand the scriptures. I know as the, as the uh, son of Isaac, right? Being the one rejected by God. I know it's my time. I know it's my time to descend and take what I believe is mine, which is not. That birthright, right? So woe to the inhabitants of the earth that fall under this rulership, right? Woe to the inhabitants of the sea that fall under this rulership. And that's the entire earth. White imperialism, so-called white supremacy, is in the Bible. And the Bible is saying, beware of white supremacy. That's right! Read that again. Rejoice, ye heavens. Rejoice, ye heavens. And ye that dwell in them. Right? Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. So woe to the inhabitants of the earth. And of the sea. And of the sea. For the devils come down unto you. The devil across the street. One, two, three, four. Has come down unto you. They have taken power. They have exalted themselves. They have blasphemed. Right? They have lied. Right? They have created a filthy lie type of people that was supposed to rule up from the earth, being the most abased cavemen on the planet. That's right. right. Having great wrath. Having what? Having great wrath. Having great wrath. You white people are mad. You white people are furious that God has rejected you. That's why you selfishly and greedily, like a lion, went to seek whom you may devour. Right? And this is why you have all of these buildings. This is why you have all this entertainment in your kingdom. Because it was built off of great wrath. It was built off of great envy. The scriptures say Satan envied Adam. And guess what? Satan envies Jacob. Esau envies Jacob. Why? Because we are the people of the blessing. Give me that in uh, Genesis chapter 27 uh, verse 36. Right? Bring that up. Because he knoweth that he has but a short time. He knows that he has a short time. The white man knows that from 1776, when he put Nuvos Ordo Socorum, he knew that that new world order, right, was not going to last long. He knew that, man, we got a little bit of time. We have to do this, we have to do that, we have to do this, we have to do that, because we know the scriptures. We know that the Lord is going to eradicate us off the planet. So we have to create something, right, and identify as a space force. And we have to defend what's ours. I believe the last time I checked that 
the scriptures say in Isaiah 66 and 1, matter of fact, bring that up. The white man thinks that this is his earth. The white man could tell you the earth was created like this. There is no God. This grass was created like this. This monkey is called this. This bear is called this. You, create, you came from a fish, right? You came from this. This tree, ah, this tree don't belong here. Let me cut it down, right? Oh, this herb right here, it's not, it's not for natural use, right? Just roll it up and smoke it, right? This is what the white man did to the earth, but it's not his earth, right? But he thinks that it's his earth. Yeah, Isaiah 66 and 1. The book of Isaiah 66 and 1. Thus saith the Lord, the heaven is my throne. The heavens are his throne where they're rejoicing right now because guess what? Yahweh Shai has overcome this world. That's right. Right? And what, what did he do? He sowed inspiration in us to overcome this world. We're not people of this world. Right? We're not conformed to this world. I don't want anything that this world gives to me. Because this world is ravenous, man. This world is evil. This world is venomous, venomous, man. John said, ye brood of vipers. Who have warned you? Right? There are wicked people in a society ruling over you. Who the Lord don't even want to wake up. That's how evil this world is. Go ahead. The earth is my footstool. The earth is what? The earth is my footstool. The earth is the Lord's realm to work. Right? The earth is the Lord's realm to work. He, he, he conducts services on the earth. He operates on the earth. Not the so-called white man. Look but it believe it or not, the so-called white man is on the left-hand side of the Lord. Right? Go ahead. Where is the house that ye build unto me? So, we're building the house. Right? And it's the temple of the Lord. The people of God. Right? Bring, the, uh, bring that out what you got. You said 27 and 1? Uh, 27 36. This is Genesis chapter 27 and verse 36. Bring it out. And he said, is not he rightly named Jacob? My brother, my brother, you got a moment? I got to catch the bus, man. You got to catch the bus? Yeah, I got the right way All right, yeah, you, yeah, you an Israelite. What's your nationality? So-called African-American? African-American, brother. You a tribe of Judah, just always remember that, king. Right? Genesis 27 verse 36. For he hath supplanted Read me. Read that from the top again. And he said. Who said? This is Esau. This is what Esau said. Right? Go ahead. Is not he rightly named Jacob? See, we are rightfully called the supplanters. Because that's what God called us from the womb. Right? Hey, my brother. You got a moment? You got a moment to hear the word of God? Yeah. So that, wait, really quick. I remember you, brother. I remember you, brother. Don't run. This is the second time. This is the second time, brother. You said you knew the word of the Lord, brother. Remember him? Yep, this is the second time. I remember faces very well. Right? See, that's the second time. This brother right. told me before he knew the word of the Lord. I said, oh, you know the word of the Lord? All right, I said, then what's the word of the Lord? He didn't have no answer. He said, yeah, he was paused. He couldn't speak. Confounded. He, yeah, he, he was confounded. <laughs> he said confounded. We didn't even want to set up the debate. We didn't want to debate. We said, hey, when they hear the word of the Lord, he said, I already know the word of the Lord. I said, what's the word of the Lord? He said, mm. yeah. <laughs> he had no answer. Yeah. And that's what's sad. People think they know God, but they don't know these scriptures, right? They don't know these scriptures. I know God if you don't know his word. Exactly. Genesis chapter 27, verse 36. And he said, is not he rightly named Jacob? Is not he rightly named the supplanter? Hey, my peoples, y'all got a moment for the word of God? You got a moment for the word? You got a moment to hear? Right, you pull it out of front, brother. It's a sin. Right? Go ahead. Genesis 27. Right. He's just Genesis yelling. He didn't know what he said. He don't know what he high. Right. And he said, is not he rightly named Jacob? So Esau said, is not he rightly named Jacob? Jacob ran out with Esau's blessing because he wanted it. Jacob wouldn't have sold his birthright for a morsel of meat. He didn't hate his blessing. That's he didn't right. hate That's the right. fact that he was the one appointed by the Most High elected according to grace to be the ruler of the planet who wouldn't want that see 
Esau is a man of instant gratification. Right, he wants it now. Mm -hmm. Right? That's why he set up fast food. That's why he set up Amazon. That's why he can't wait. He is not a being of patience. Right? He came in from the field. He was tired. He said, hey, hey I'll give you my birthright after Jacob asked him for it. He didn't give a damn about it. That's right. He just wanted that damn instant gratification. So now he has restaurants you just drive through. Hey, let me get a uh, number one. Let me get a, a chicken nugget. Let me get anything. Let, give me give me all that unclean food. Sweet and sour. Yeah, sweet and sour sauce. Let me get all of that, right? And you get it in five minutes it, or even two. So that's what Esau's all about. He's all about quick, want it now. See, Jacob understood this thing, right? To take a dispensation of thousands of years. That's why when he when he blessed his son right after Dan, right? You got a moment for the word of God, King? Thank you. Man. All right, brother. Right? He said, oh my God, have I waited for thy salvation? When he was about to die, he still said, I have waited for thy salvation. Because Jacob deals with patience as any prophet waiting for the promise of the Lord to be in, 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 um, in existence, man. It is in existence. We just got to walk into it. Right? Go ahead. For he has supplanted me these two times supplanted him twice right what did george bush said fool me once <laughs> what he said <laughs> fool me twice right <laughs> guess what you ain't gonna fool me again you ain't gonna fool me again <laughs> well guess what jacob fooled esau once and he fooled him twice, twice. right fool because esau is a fool he was from the birth the wicked are strange from the womb the scriptures say so he was appointed to be the wicked and the evil, and Jacob was appointed to be the righteous and good. Right? Go ahead. He took away my birthright. He took away my birthright, which is not necessarily true. Brother, you gave it away. Right? Go ahead. And behold, now he had take, taken away my blessing now he have taken away my blessing he took away my birthright and now he took away my blessing what am i left with you're left with this you're left with the skyscrapers you're left with all of the things that came with your society all of these toys right the penthouse the yachts you got it all right now right you have the fatness of the earth you saw but guess what? Jacob is going to have the dew of heaven and the fatness of the earth forever, right? And the technology that you see it now is nothing in comparison to what you're going to see in our kids. That's right. Right? The tabernacles of God are going to be with the Israelites. If the tabernacles of God are beyond imagination, it's like describing the internet to a damn ant. The tabernacles of God are going to be, be beyond your understanding especially when we get beamed up in these ufos there's going to be people paused and frozen seeing us the gods of this world taking back our kingdom hey you want to hear the word of god what's your nationality Ukrainian. what's your nationality Ukrainian. i can't hear you, you said Ukrainian. 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 i can't hear you Ukrainian? Ukrainian? Yeah. oh do you know what your nation is according to the bible what your nation is according to the Holy Bible. You believe in the Bible? Yeah. All right. So, so is Ukrainian in the scriptures? Absolutely not. Absolutely. Oh man, that's hey, it's not in the scriptures. You study the scriptures? Yeah. Well, I mean, you wouldn't be studying the scriptures. First man was found in Africa smoking a uh, cigarette. But <laughs> they got, I don't know. It's. We were reading about your forefather, A lot of fire and fury in that Old Testament. In the New Testament too. Yeah, give me yeah. First Corinthians chapter sixteen, verse twenty-two. There is. I'm show you definitely is. It, it is. Oh yeah. Stuff. Oh man. Revelations. That's oh, yeah, a terrible. Yeah, did some ugly stuff. That's a that that book is full of nightmares. Like that's man. Oh, that's that's Christ. There's a lot of red letter, right? First Corinthians sixteen and twenty-two. This is too sad. Yep. 16, Even though I, I don't have time, but I'm like, you know what? 
You, you should have something time. special about this, so go ahead. Something special. All right. Hey. Thou sayest. You're going to learn a lot. Go ahead. For as in Adam all die. Even 1 Corinthians 16. Oh, 16. 16. If any man love not the Lord Jesus Christ, let him be anathema, morana, moranatha. Right? Anathema, moranatha. What does that mean? Anathema. What? You didn't know that was in the Bible, did well, you? That's a lot of old English. Now it's not old English, brother. It's Aramaic. What did it say? Anathema, moranatha. That's Paul wrote that. He said, so "If any man know. love not the Lord, let him be." And the theme of Maranatha, that's New Testament. Let him be cut off at his coming. Right? That's the whole issue I have with it. The issue you have with what? You have an issue with the Bible? I have an issue with being be so righteous. Okay, of course you. Righteous. Hey, hold up. Hey. Clap it up for Esau. Yeah. Clap it up for Esau. Hey. He has an issue you with being an righteous. Issue with being righteous. Oh, All praise. Day, every day. You have an issue with that. And I just can't even fathom it. Picture it. I you mean, can't. I you know can't. why? Not because even, like, you realistic. are because biblically, you are a descendant of Esau. The wicked one. Right. In the scripture. You can't pick this up. You know who Esau is? He kills his mother, right? He's trying to kill his mother. Still give me a uh, okay. Amos 1 and 11. Amos 1 and 11. He was jealous or what? No, that was Cain and Abel. That's Cain and Abel, but guess what? Cain and Abel. It, our prototype Esau and Jacob. Esau, which is the so-called white man, yeah. and Jacob, which is the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American man. The reason why your forefathers came here, the U.S. Calvary, right? The reason why the Spaniards, the African Americans, why? Village the conquer to take over the power. Because they were killing their brother. That's the story of Esau and Jacob from it's the beginning. Really we were just talking. We spoke a I minute. Mean, hey, all praise. We'll get into existence. It's like divine intervention. Amos. No, it's definitely divine intervention. Right? Amos 1 and 11. Right? You need it, I, I get it. Amos you got my attention now. Oh. Amos 1 and 11. The book of Amos 1 and 11. Listen to this. Thus say the Lord. Thus say who? Thus say the Lord. Thus say the Lord. Go ahead. For three transgressions of Edom. Of Edom. Give me Genesis 36 and 1. Right? For three transgressions of Edom. Right? right? And for four. And for four. You know what that means? You've topped it. Right. Right? You've, you've, you've three strikes. Is you've no. you've made sin and transgression and murder perfection. That's what the Lord is saying in his proverbial sense. Right? Very poetic. Uh, for three transgressions, and even for four. Right? Right? Go ahead. I will not turn away the punishments thereof. I will not turn away the punishments thereof. Okay? Go ahead. Because he did pursue his brother. He did pursue his who? His brother. His brother. With the sword. With what? With the sword. U.S. Cavalry. Right? Slavery. Right? The Edomites pursued yeah. Jacob, Israelites, right? Read Genesis 36 and 1 so you can understand. This is Genesis chapter 36 and verse 1. Look it out. Now these are the generations of Esau. Of who? Of Esau. Of Esau. Who is Edom? Who is who? Who is Edom? Who is Edom, which means red in Hebrew. You're not white, you know that, right? No. You're shades of red. Right? Who also? Who else, as a caricature in society today, is red? Indian. The devil. Ooh, and that's a good symbol. Yeah. That's a good symbol. That's, yeah, you, 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 listen, man. I'm thinking you really know the left hand side of the scriptures, right? <laughs> Amos, Amos one and eleven. There it is. You got to scratch me to the surface. Amos one and eleven. There you go, man. Hey, can't, can't Thus said the Lord, for three transgressions of Edom. And for four. So Esau is Edom, right? Go ahead. I will not turn away the punishment, the punishment thereof. The Lord is not going to turn the punishments thereof from you and your ancestors. Right? You fit the description of the sins of your ancestors. No, that's not. 
Right? Yeah, you do. Because you know what? The reason why you get to wear a Philadelphia Eagles hat, you know, it's probably your, your favorite team. You know, Philadelphia being the city of brotherly love. I mean, it wasn't built on that. Right? right? This was made in America. Right? You have to pay for what your ancestors did. Right. Just like we had to pay for transgression, transgression against our God, being the real Jews of the Bible. History repeats itself. Oh. But your history is not going to repeat itself in our kingdom because the scriptures say that you're going to be eradicated of the planet. That's what the scriptures are. Because he did pursue his brother with the sword. Uh -huh. Go ahead. And did cast off all pity. And cast off all pity. Your ancestors hung us up. Emmett Till. Right? Look what just happened in Buffalo. You know what y'all gonna say? You guys are killing each other. Well, guess what? Our people are not targeting white people and killing them just because we don't like them. Our people are in a condition designed by so-called white people. That's right! Right? Because they planned this condition. decades ago. Yeah, condition. Right. You ever heard? Train, condition. You ever heard of the wing lift? Of Basically. You ever heard of the Willie Lynch one? Um, no, but I'm aware of the little psychology and the condition in that part of the aspect. Right. You know, a lot of psychologists, right. high-end psychologists, yeah. understand the psychosis of black people. They have the answers to why black people right. are killing black people. Yeah, because there's underlying... But why are they not releasing these reports? They, that they don't see. Why are they not releasing these reports? Because they just want to make you think that black people are just re are reacting because they're just monkeys. No, yeah. black people are reacting from systematic oppression, right? Give me Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. Sit out, y'all. Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. It's what sells. Go ahead. And his anger did tear perpetually. See, your anger teared perpetually through the Native Americans, the so-called Hispanics, and the so-called blacks, right? They, they tear through us perpetually. Right? We could go on and on, right, with the torture games nationality, nationality, that was playing with our people, right? You ever heard that your ancestors opened up an alive woman while she was alive, opened her up, put a cat inside of her, sold up the cat, and they bet on how long it would take for the cat to rip out that woman? Yeah, have you ever heard of that? Have you ever heard of alligator bait? Just the, how they would take a baby up to one, two, three years old, use the baby for alligator bait. That's got to be at a point of just like parts of the brain that aren't operating, empathy, sympathy. You're absolutely Listen, right. I want to chat. I got to go. You guys are really intellectual. I was moved. Seriously. Thank you. All right, but listen, Touch. I got one more scripture for you. Go ahead. I got one more scripture for you, right? Give me Isaiah. Go ahead. 14. Yeah, verse 21. And it's no, yep. This Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 21. This is the scriptures. Out. This is prophecy. Right? Right. Go ahead. Prepare slaughter. Prepare what? Prepare slaughter. Prepare slaughter. For his children. For the children. For the iniquity of their fathers. For the iniquity of your fathers. That they do not rise nor possess the land. Nor they possess the land, right? Nor fill the face of the world with cities. Pan, 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 the, pan the camera around this city right here. Your ancestors built cities on top of Native American civilization. Right. Right? So the Lord says prepare slaughter. Right. It's almost it, like karma for... I wouldn't call it karma. This is what I would call it. Galatians 6 or 7. I wouldn't call it karma. Right? It's in there Psalms though. 109. I'll tell you that much. Psalms 109 and 6. Karma is a Hindu. Yeah. I don't like that term. Right. It sounds yes. very spooky and real mystical. Right? I like to deal with the word of yeah. God. That's right. I gotta go, but that is all interpreted. You have to go on that. Last two. Thank you. We're gonna yell so this much. one to you, right? Last two. That's it, right? The book of Galatians 6 and 7. Bring it out. Ephesians. That's Ephesians. Oh, oh. Uh, go ahead. So this is Psalms 100. chapter 109. And verse 6. Bring it out. Set thou a wicked man over him. Set thou a wicked man over him. Right? Go ahead. And let Satan stand at his right hand. Let Satan stand at this devil's right hand. Who's the wicked man that's over him right now? Joe Raisin Biden. 
Sloppy Joe. Joe. Right? You know a Biden name actually goes back to the word button? <laughs> I, I, it's either two sides to this thing. It's either he's like Benjamin Button <laughs> suffering from that old <laughs> young disease. Oh, he gonna press oh, that he gonna, button. He gonna wake up in the middle <laughs> of the night. <laughs> no one's gonna know. They're gonna be like, why is Joe up getting this cup of Joe? Press the button. Right? He gonna be asleep walking. <laughs> what the hell am I doing? He gonna push the button on everybody. Like a thief in the night. You know what I'm saying? He's so old, but he's wicked. Yeah, he's talking about black people comparing us to the equivalency of roaches. Right, you know what he's doing concerning the, the Demo, uh, Democratic Party and, and what's going on behind the scenes with those emails with Pizzagate? That's the wicked that's above the so-called white man, right? And Satan is at his right hand. Satan is his right-hand man, right? Satan is Joe Biden, Donald Trump, Barack Obama, right? All of the presidents, all of the people in the Senate, all of the people in Congress, the legislative branches, the judicial court systems, why they wear all black, you gotta say all rising and do all these Masonic symbols and things like that. Why we on a docket that represents the slave ship, right? It's a dock, right? Cause Satan is his right hand man. Prison systems is no different from trading slaves, man. Coming from off the dock into a plantation, right? This is the system that you live in, right? Go ahead, bring that up. When he shall be judged, let him be condemned. When the white man is judged, just let him be condemned. Stop trying to save the white man. Let the white man be condemned, right? He said it. I mean, trying to live righteous every day, like, he didn't give a damn. He doesn't have a, an inkling of desire to serve the Lord. Like, he knows he's wasted. He knows, like, I'm gonna die anyway, smoke my buggy, man, probably good, a Russian lady, but I have a freaking good time, hope I score, man. Like, that's <laughs> what his mind is at right now. He does not plot on being a righteous being, because the white man does not have it in him. He said it has to be something in our brain. He said it has to be something in our brain. Right? It has to be. That's why all of this is going to be destroyed. That's right. Because his forefathers were just saying, saying the same thing. When they built brick upon brick, they was building it while that man was hanging off the tree. He said, we can't, we can't even see ourselves being righteous. Right? We don't have an inkling or a desire to be righteous. Right? Go ahead. And let his prayer become sin. Let the white man's prayer become sin. Right? It's a transgression for a white man to sin, man. Right. How could you sin before a heavenly, holy power, knowing your ancestors did that? Joe Olstein, Joyce Meyer, Mike Murdoch, all you so-called Edomite pastors, and all you so-called Uncle Tom, uh, 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 what's his name? T.D. Snake. Yeah. Oh, create, a flow of the, <laughs> create a flow of dollars. How could y'all sit down with these people at your councils, at your pastoral bishop meetings, when you when you talk about the deal, uh, the DLCs that you're ruling over, right? That you're overseeing. Sit down with the white man, notice about him, and not feel anything about him, because you're not a prophet of the Lord. Right? You have compromised and made a covenant with death. Man. That's right. So therefore the Lord is not hearing your prayer me. Right? It doesn't only mean that the white man is in this embodiment of what we call the body of the beast. It's you so-called black folks that have sold out because you bought in. Right? Go ahead. Let his days be few. Let his days be few. Like we just read, Revelation 12 and 12. Right? He said he knows his days are short, right? He knows his time is short. His days are few. 1776 to now is not long, right? Go ahead. And let another take his office. Let another, there we go, back again. We're gonna supplant him a third time, right? <laughs> let another take his office. Let Jake run right up there and snatch all of the damn paperwork off the desk, ball it up, throw it in the trash, and we, hey man, you watch the door, I'm sitting down here right now, 
Right. I'm the boss. Mm -hmm. I've been the boss. I just couldn't, I couldn't wait to get here. And make sure you don't touch nothing, nothing. on my desk. <laughs> <laughs> and if I find out you was touching anything up here, you know what time it is, right? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Let his children be fatherless. Let his children be fatherless. And his wife a widow. Is not the white man dying off of the planet? Uh. Let his wife be a widow. I mean, you got scriptures in Jeremiah talking about the widows of Edom. Why are they talking about the widows of Edom? Because guess what? The white man is going to be eradicated. And guess what? Your woman will be left widows in our mm -hmm. time. Right? Go ahead. Let his children be continually vagabonds. Continually vagabonds. Right? And that means they have no place. Why? Because Cain is prototype Esau. Right? Genesis 4 and 9. Right? Wait, wait. Oh, oh, not good. Galatians. Go to Genesis 4 and 9. Oh, hold that. Right? Go ahead. Go ahead, King. This is Job chapter 20 and verse 8. Bring it out. He shall fly away as a dream. Mm -hmm. And should not be found. See, the white man is just going to be, damn, we was really? Like, when you wake up from a dream, you'd be like, damn, I thought that was real. This is not really real. This life is but a moment. Jacob said that he was a pilgrim. We're pilgrims just passing through. This is a dream. And if you don't understand that this is not a dream, you've already fallen for the bait and the snare of the so-called white man. Right. This is not real here. What's real is what's coming. Right? Abraham, he was a stranger, man. He was a stranger wherever he went. Right? Right, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Right, Genesis, 40, uh, Genesis 4, 4 and 4 and 9. Go ahead. And the Lord said to Cain, Where is Abel thy brother? Where is Abel thy brother? Right? So, white man, where's Jacob? Guess what he did? Hit him in prison houses. Where's Jacob? Oh, hit him in history. Let's paint over his face. Right? This is not Jacob. Where's Jacob? Right? Go ahead. And he said, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? Oh, am I Jacob's keeper? Am I Abel's keeper? Am I supposed to watch my brother? Am I supposed to protect my brother? Nah, right? That's what Esau did. He's telling the Lord subconsciously, am I the so-called black man, the so-called Hispanic man, the so-called Native American man's keeper? Hell no, right? I want to kill. Pursue, tear through my brother Jacob. Right? Go ahead. And he said, What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground. The voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground. Right? Go ahead. Verse 11. And now thou art cursed from the earth. Now you're cursed from the earth, so called white man. He's cursed from the earth. Right? And guess what? At the coming of a Mashiach Yahushai, guess what? That's when he's going to be recompensed by the Lord sevenfold. Complete judgment, man. Right? Go ahead. And now art thou cursed from the earth. Go ahead. Which hath opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood Go from ahead. thy hand. Go ahead. When thou tillest the ground. When thou tillest the ground, when, thou, when, when you farm, it's not going to grow nothing. Believe it or not, the white man been in a famine. Right? Genetically modified organisms on the shelf, right? He's in a laboratory creating things. That's why we, he needed us, right, out in the field. Because he can't do it himself. He cannot be a farmer on this, on this earth. Because the world will not yield its increase. The earth will not yield her increase to the so-called white man. Right? He's cursed. Go ahead. Well, now tells the ground. It shall not his fault yield unto thee her strength. Go ahead. A fugitive and a vagabond shall thou be in the earth. A fugitive and a vagabond shall the white man be in the earth. That's why we got to chase him down. Right? Fugitive. There he goes. Right? Because of all of his crimes. Limpid. Vagabond. A vagabond and a fugitive. Right? How is he a fugitive? 
because he is an accomplice to murder. Right? And we're going to keep calling it out and keep calling it out and keep calling it out. Right? Go ahead. Verse 13. And Cain said unto the Lord, My punishment is greater than I could bear. See, the white man is like, My punishment, that's why when white people come up to you and they say, You guys are preaching hate. It's because they know that their punishment is worthy of, but it's too great for them to receive. Who wants to hear? Who wants to hear that their, their race is going to be eradicated by the Creator? Nobody. But you're worthy of that judgment. What about the Galatians 6 and 7? Oh, I saw the word of Galatians 6 and 7. Uh-huh. Be not deceived. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. God is not mocked. This white man called it karma. Right? He called it karma. There's no such thing as karma in the Bible. Right? That's a Hindu ideology. Right? This is what the Lord says very simply. The simplicity of reaping and sowing. Just like you sow seed into the earth, it yields its increase. Whatever you sow in your actions, it's going to yield back an increase, right? And if that increase decreases you, you're doing something wrong, right? Give me our first Samuel chapter 2. In the first Samuel, yep, 2 and 3. Right. Be not deceived. Uh -huh. God is not mocked. Go ahead. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. That shall you also reap. If you sow apple seeds, you're going to grow apple trees. That white man, he understood. Yeah, my people, well, they, they tried to genocide you. Well, guess what? In the process of you doing that, the Lord sat on his throne and says, by default, you must be genocided off the planet. Right? Because he knows he can't trust you moving on his beautiful paradise called Eden, where the world is supposed to be pleasurable, right? He created this prison. He created this hell, right? Go ahead. This is 1 Samuel chapter 2 and verse 3. Bring it out. Talk no more so exceeding proudly. Talk no more exceeding proudly, right? So the white man talks proudly. He boasts in his kingdom. He'll ignore you. He won't even talk, but he'll talk loud in his spirit. Right? We can read white people when they walk by us. They don't have to say nothing. Right? We know that they're proud. We know that they say, oh, these are just niggers, man. These are just spicks. Who is this guy right here? This Puerto Rican guy right here with the headband on thinking he's somebody. Right? We're rehearsing the righteous acts of the Lord. Right? But that's bold arrogancy. Right? And we could we could we could hear their words speaking from their spirits. Not literally, but we could read their, their body language. Right? Go ahead. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth. Don't let arrogancy come out of your mouth. Why? Go ahead. For the Lord is a God of knowledge. Uh-huh. And by him actions are weighed. The Lord is a God of knowledge. We don't serve a God that's up there that don't know what's going on. Right? The Lord said he was going to flood the world. And he did that. He said, I'm going to give man 120 years. Then he gave a dispensation of time of the flood. Then the scriptures say, the Lord remembered Noah. He didn't forget what was going on. He said, oh yeah, Noah's down there. I got to remember, I got to re regenerate, replenish the earth. So the Lord is, is very knowledgeable about what's happening on this planet. Don't think the Lord forsook this earth. He forsook it to a degree where he doesn't visit mankind like he used to. Why? Because he hid his face from his people. Because the people of the Bible hid their face from him. That's right. Right? But when he visits us again, oh, then you're going to know the Lord always remembered what he said was going to happen. The scriptures say, the Lord is not slack concerning his promises, as some men count slackness. Right? The day of the Lord is a, is a thousand years, and a thousand years is a day, man. The elements will melt. The elements will melt uh, with fervent heat, and people will perish on this planet. Because the Lord is a knowledgeable God, and he weighs actions. And guess what? Sin 
America's sins have reached the heavens, man. And the Lord is coming back very soon. Yo, Shalom Israel. Go check out Ram Gadog of Barium's very own Pana. Subscribe to Pana Productions on YouTube right now. Go stream his album, Thou Art, on all digital platforms, including SoundCloud. Bump that F the world, stubborn, juice, when we dance and more. Look out for his upcoming album, a genre called Life. Also, go check out the young lord, Juan Salvatore, with his latest album release, Story of a Soldier. Inhaling from Rum, Florida. Ganan Yasha Allah, go stream his latest music video, Save Me, and subscribe to his YouTube channel. And last but definitely not least, subscribe to the Ot Gabal Malak's channel, hailing from Kansas City, for hot truth music videos inspired by his intellectual visuals. All links at the bottom. Shalom.